Hello everyone, back to you today's first video, doing weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. There's going to be a lot of dry weather around in the weekend, there'll be plenty of high pressure to enjoy. Not completely dry though, there will be some showers coming up, particularly tomorrow. Easter Sunday is going to deliver some heavy showers from England and Wales. And then towards the end of the week, a bit of a question mark about how... Um, how many showers we may have down in the south and in the southwest, sort of Thursday, Friday into next weekend. Uh, but uh, that said, there is going to be lots of dry weather to enjoy as well. And although temperatures will take a bit of a tumble for a day or so early in the coming week, they will recover then uh, later on in the week. Of course, we have very warm Easter Saturday to enjoy as well. So I'll get on weekend forecast for you in a moment, just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the regular week to 10 day video update, including all of the usual features, and uh, I'll have that up for you uh, later on this afternoon. The websites we're using for weekend forecast are coming from WeatherTech.d and the weatherout.com. We're starting with the radar picture at Gabs Weather. Event. So this is the latest. And uh, been a lot of dry weather around for this morning. Some showering rain across the far northwest of Scotland. A few showers have been across northern England. They're mostly um, around these eastern coastal areas. Otherwise, loads of dry weather at the moment, so we won't dwell on that for too long. Here's today's toxic pressure. High pressure more or less in control, but we are bringing a trough in from the north. Northwest, and uh, that will increase the shower risk as we go into tomorrow in particular. But for the rest of this afternoon, we're looking at lots of dry weather across many parts of the country, at bright or sunny spells. There will be a band of cloud and showery rain moving into the far west of Scotland. And a few heavy showers could break out across parts of England and Wales late this afternoon. I think they're most likely through places like South Wales, South West England, Possibly the South and Southwest Midlands, those sort of areas could get a sharp shower this afternoon. You'll be very unlucky to catch one of those in any one location, but they will be around, hit and miss. Uh, but if you catch one, you'll probably know about it. It'll be quite heavy, and there may even be a rumble of thunder mixed in. However, that said, there's going to be plenty of dry weather around this afternoon with a good deal of uh, bright or sunny spells. And exceptionally warm, the 11th of April, we're going to be seeing temperatures possibly reaching 25 or 26 degrees down in the southeast. That's around 77 to 79 Fahrenheit, nearly 80 Fahrenheit on the 11th of April is uh, quite remarkable, really. And widely across the country, temperatures for England and Wales, anyway, up to uh, northern England, you're going to be seeing uh, temperatures of around 20 to 24. It is a little bit cooler up across Scotland, just 12 degrees perhaps across the far north of Scotland, 54 Fahrenheit in old money. Overnight tonight, well, those showers will very quickly fade away down across the south, and then many parts of England and Wales will be dry. There will be a band of cloud and uh, patchy rain moving from uh, west of Scotland to northern Ireland towards northern England by the end of the night. It will turn clearer and also colder behind that band of rain uh, for parts of northern and western Scotland. Temperatures up there will get quite chilly tonight, probably going down to around 4 or 5 degrees by the end of the night. But otherwise, it's a mild night. Temperatures, particularly in the south and southeast, holding up in double digits at around 10, 11 or 12 degrees. Well, tomorrow we've got this trough slipping down across the country and that will act as the trigger for showers across England and Wales. Behind that, high pressure begins to move in from the northwest, but it is turning cooler as winds swing into the north to northeast. Many of us start off on Easter Sunday mostly dry with some decent sunny spells. For Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England, we'll have showery outbreaks of rain through the morning. Most of those should fade out, I think, um, as we get into the afternoon, and it'll brighten up and turn mostly dry. For the rest of England and Wales, though, the clouds will really bubble up, and heavy showers will break out tomorrow afternoon. Some of them uh, will be prolonged, slow-moving. They could well contain hail and thunder uh, as well. So uh, there'll be a good deal more widespread than today's showers too. So uh, I think the emphasis is on showers for England and Wales tomorrow. And actually you'll be quite lucky to miss those in any one location tomorrow. That's how widespread they will be. The far south and southeast may hang on to dry conditions until the evening. 
Despite the showers and the downpours across England and Wales, it will still be mild uh, or warm even with temperatures of around 20 to 21 degrees. That's about 70 Fahrenheit. Still a bit down on today, of course, but still warm for the time of year. Further north, it's getting colder. Temperatures across Scotland, Northern Ireland, eventually Northern England will be sliding backwards, if anything, through the course of the day. Uh, feeling quite cold in the north at just 8 degrees Celsius across Northern Scotland by the end of Sunday afternoon. Uh, back on in Monday, you see this high pressure coming back down across the country, turning us mostly dry once again. We could start Easter Monday with some showery outbreaks of rain down in the south. Most of those will go very quickly. Quite a chilly easy wind as well, first thing. But all of that should clear away, and then brighter skies spread down from the north. All areas should turn dry then, with uh, plenty of bright or sunny spells. Perhaps a little bit more cloud than recent days over in the east. Uh, the main thing you notice on Monday will be the drop in temperature. So we're probably shaving around 10 degrees or more off the temperature across much of southern and southeastern Britain. Temperatures will range somewhere from around uh, 7 to 15 degrees Celsius. Now, 15 Celsius is probably about average for the middle of April down in the south and southeast. It's 59 Fahrenheit. It's nothing particularly cold. But because the days before have been so very warm, you really will notice the drop in the temperature and humidity that takes place on Monday. It'll be quite a cold feeling down Monday, despite uh, quite a lot of sunshine. And then high pressure's in control as you go to the middle of the week. Tuesday should be mostly dry. Watch out for a widespread frost, though, on Monday night and into Tuesday. That could be a damaging frost. If you've got any delicates out, cover up your delicates on uh, Monday night because it is going to get cold. Temperatures could well well go down to minus two minus three minus four so that is low enough to cause real damage to fruit blossom etc so we start tuesday with a widespread frost but also plenty of uh, sunny spells and basically we just have a nice day really on tuesday university drive across the whole country plenty of sunshine a little bit of cloud bubbling up Temperatures a bit on the cold side after that frosty start. They probably struggle up to around 15 uh, degrees at best. So probably get about average, but as I say, widespread frost to begin on Tuesday morning. Very similar on Wednesday. The only difference on Wednesday is that high pressure begins to slip eastward, starting to pull in slightly milder air from the south to southeast. So Wednesday should be mostly dry again across most parts of the country. Could be a shower across southwest England by the end of the day, but essentially we're looking at a dry day on Wednesday with uh, good sunny spells. Temperatures up a few degrees as well. May start off with a bit of frost, especially for more northern areas, but I think we'll see the temperature lifting up by a few degrees, so probably back to around 17 or 18 down in the south and southeast by the end of Wednesday afternoon. And then we've got question marks as we go through to the end of the week. High pressure men beginning to slip eastwards, low pressure developing out to the west and south. But how active this low pressure is remains to be seen. I have a feeling the emphasis is still on mainly dry weather for Thursday with uh, decent, brighter, sunny spells. But there could be some heavy showers breaking out across parts of Wales, southwest England. Temperature will probably back to 20 degrees in the southeast. That's uh, 68 Fahrenheit. And then into Friday, just probably getting more showery. But again, there is a lot of uncertainty about this. But I would have thought Friday may start off mostly dry, but showers are likely to break out quite widely across the country. Some of them could be heavy. There could be a rumbles of thunder and some hail uh, mixed in as well. Temperatures probably again mid to upper teens Celsius, 16, 17, 18 degrees widely across the country, warmer than average for uh, the middle of April. And then into next weekend, Again, a uh, high degree of uncertainty, but probably more showery on Saturday and, and drier perhaps as we go through into Sunday. Temperatures should still be relatively warm. Finally, we've got charts of weather out. So a few showers breaking out today, but a lot of dry weather and temperatures very warm across more southern and southeast areas. Lots of heavy showers tomorrow. We'll have heavy showers breaking out across England and Wales tomorrow. They could be accompanied by hail and thunder in places as well. The far south and southeast could stay dry till evening. It does turn drier in the north as well, but also turns colder there. Easter Monday will be a mainly dry day with plenty of sunshine, but you'll notice a very significant drop in temperature and humidity, which will make it feel much colder than we've been used to over recent days. And then dry conditions really dominate the weather as we go through Tuesday and Wednesday. will be quite cold, especially at night, but by day in the April sunshine, it won't feel too bad. 
And then we'll get through to the end of the week. It was quite a bit of uncertainty for Thursday and Friday. But the general idea is showers breaking out in more southern and western areas. Always drier in the north and the east. Temperatures lifting back up and becoming quite warm again in the second half of the week. So, in summary, we're looking at uh, a very warm start, but exceptionally warm today for so early in April. Temperatures near 80 Fahrenheit. Do enjoy it if, uh, if that's what you like in, uh, in your April weather. Uh, but actually, after this, we're going to see the temperatures cooling down, and we will have those heavy showers developing across England and Wales tomorrow. The emphasis, though, is on dry weather. There's going to be plenty of dry weather after Easter. Temperatures take a tumble for a while, but begin to pick back up later in the week, and it will start to become uh, quite a bit warmer again in the second half of the week, when showers could return to more southern and western areas. Right, that's it for your uh, weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with the regular week's 10-day video update. So come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.